It's your boy Prescription, man. PrivateHipHop.com, Private Hip Hop Podcast. Out here in Colleen, Texas. Top 10 tour. And it, it's been a dope night. It's been a dope night. And I got with me right here, Cleve Pack. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. Drinking alcohol. You know what it is yeah. in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> my guy Cleve Pack came to the meet and greet yesterday. And yes, I did. Uh, we did a raffle for somebody to perform today. And he won it. You know what I mean? So, he, came, yeah. he came out today and, and showed ass. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, I'm goddamn well glad I did. Yeah. I ain't had shit to do earlier today, but then I was like, man, it's 2 in the morning. What the hell is my phone doing lighting up? <laughs> sure enough, it's man, they say blessings in a disguise, and here I am yeah. drinking and, and performing, and, and most people ain't ever heard me sing or nothing like that before. I don't think I'm no Al Green or nothing, but <laughs> shit, I can sing and I can rap. Yeah. You know what it is. Nah, man, you, you did your thing tonight. Yeah. You had one song in particular that was very entertaining. Uh, uh, I, heard, I heard you talking about uh, uh, a white bitch could get fucked, oh, a yeah. fat bitch could get fucked. Yeah, fuck. that song is called Can Get It. It's been out since 2015. It actually was number one in Austin for pro probably about 15 weeks on okay. several radio stations. There was one called KZI. Shout out to Todd. Yeah, shout out, yeah, shout uh, out KZI. And, 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 uh, Todd Engel and the Midnight, yeah. the Midnight Ride. Yeah. yeah, and it was number one on there for a while. So that is an older song, but I bring that. That's pretty much a staple yeah. for me. Yeah. Like, if I don't do that song, what the hell are you watching? That'd be like if Little Kiki came out here and didn't do Southside. <laughs> hey, man, I, we're going to have – we're, we're planning a, a, some content after this called Tour Stories. Oh, okay. And I promise you, when we tell Tour Stories – that yeah. that the, the the Korean lady working who came outside and was like, he say he say white bitch, he say black bitch. Why he no say Korean bitch? <laughs> because she wasn't fat enough to qualify for fat bitch. That's why. Hey, that shit right there will be on the tour stories for sure, yeah, man. For sure, it definitely was an entertaining moment. So, uh, how long you been making music, bro? Since 2006, I was in South Padre and Mims was there. Also, uh, Lil John. Well, I believe it was Lil John eight eight. They had the fucking Crunk Juice album. I don't oh, know yeah, who's on there, goddammit. Got you, got you, got you. But Mims was out there in Sean Kingston, and then I started making music. I rapped over a track called Get Buck with Tila and uh, Gangsta Boo on it. Okay. They, okay. I, I just kind of had some tracks sitting in my queue, and, you know, I just rapped over it. I'm not saying that I'm affiliated with them or nothing like that. I'm not going to put my name on anything, but, you know, I had some tracks sitting in my queue, and I just rapped over it. Yeah, yeah. And I've been... Like I tell people, I've been saving money at the time when I was 14 in 2006 up to 2012 when I started working with Fetty Gang from Brick Squad and launched my official career. Yeah, yeah. So when people are like, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Most people save for years to have enough money to launch a career. Yeah, yeah. That's average. I understand. If you're lucky enough to have 200 grand on your side, then you can do it overnight. Yeah. I wish I had 200 grand right now. I'll yeah, run that I know. You launch a damn I'll, career today. I would no, fucking be winning, boy. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> so recent. Okay, so you're talking about when you got started, but most recent. What's the most recent thing that you've released? If somebody's wanting to look you up right now and they're trying to see what's some new, what you got going right now? There's an album called I'm Still Here. All right. I just dropped it. I, I had a song in the queue from it called Guessing, but unfortunately, you know, I, it ain't – this that way left or another but you know how it goes sometimes I, just, I thought there was a better song to perform and it's not even really my song but that high for you is a guy named Jay Stash rest in peace R.I.P. but I was just like dude I'm gonna get out there and work that song because I like I said you know you know I do the drunk monk style I ain't the dirty bastard style like I can yell oh dirty bastard himself you know the alcoholics I I have a father to my style and that's them I got the monk I got Jackie Chan I've got that whole thing but when I see somebody pull a style like that, it's like, old Dirty Bastard, he sang Rick James, he sang Al Green, yeah. and he said it on the track. So I don't know if y'all noticed when I came out there, but I said, fucking, this ain't even my song. This yeah. is Jay Stats' song. Nah, nah, and I made, I, you couldn't even tell that wasn't nah, me. No, nah, man, yeah. yeah. You put your all into it. You gave it all your energy. Exactly. And, you know what I'm saying? You made people exactly. feel it. And, and, and that's dope to keep people's name alive like that, bro. I, exactly. I, I love that. That's, that's great yeah. energy, bro. The world, the world needs a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so right now, I, uh, I've seen some visuals, you know what I'm saying, that, that you've put out. You've submitted to the reviews and previews. Shout out to the reviews and previews. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, I did yeah, do yeah, one, yeah, didn't yeah, I? For sure, for sure. I uh, did. What, what's the most recent video project that you have out right now? The, well, it's not out yet, but it's called Listen. It's got me featuring Sadat X from Brand Nubian. Okay. You don't know who Sadat X is. He worked with uh, yeah. Biggie Smalls. He worked. He's in a lot of – he's in Tony Hawk games. Uh, Sadat X is on Sway – 
Just Google Sadat X. Yeah, for real. If you don't know who Brand Nubian is, then you don't know anything about classic hip hop. Yeah. But uh, shout out Sadat X. He just did the feature and the video for me. And when is that coming out? Uh, it's going to drop July 27th. And it's a classic street hip hop video. I don't need your fucking fireworks and all that bullshit to sell any goddamn records. Yeah. Uh, I think I can rap better than you. That's why. Hey, you got to feel that way. <laughs> I feel like if you rap and you don't feel that way, you, you fucking up. You're in the wrong game. You know exactly. What I mean? You got to feel that way. You got to yeah. feel that way. So uh, for the people that don't know, bro, if they can't read, your shit's on the screen. But tell them where they can find you. Do you know where they can follow you? Yeah. I don't know where they can find me always. But on Facebook, my name is Kleepak. There's Kelso. Get off the screen. <laughs> There's another rap moment. No, but you can find me on uh, Facebook at Justin Kleepak. Same thing on Instagram and Twitter. Now, I don't know the other ones now. Yeah, nah. <laughs> hey, that's enough. They'll find you right there. Uh, Justin Kleepak. My boy Kleepak, hey, hey, I really appreciate you making it out tonight, bro. You lit the stage up. It was great energy. I'm looking forward to see something next. You got to come out to wake on fuck with us one time, man. Yeah, ain't that tomorrow? Yeah, hey, tomorrow. We'll be out there tomorrow. Oh, hell, we might be out there tomorrow. Hey, then. I might have to pull up. Hey, it, it, we're going to be drinking. Is there beer? There will be beer. All right. There will be beer. Hey, that sounds good. PrivateHipHop.com. Y'all subscribe and y'all go follow Kleepak right now. Hell yeah. Hey.